Hey ho und willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Game of Thrones Episode 2. Jetzt können wir mit der Hauptstory weitermachen. Jetzt möchte ich ja keine Folge beenden. Dann schauen wir mal, ob sie ihn wieder hinhaut oder ob er es jetzt schafft mit seiner Schwester. Mühsam ernährt sich das Eichhörnchen. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though I think you'll find that much has changed. Oh, die Vorhänge sind voll schön im Hintergrund. Ja, okay. Das bisschen hätte ich eigentlich noch weitermachen können. <lacht> Ui, die Mauer. Das heißt, wir sehen jetzt gleich John Schnee. Ja, ich bin John Schnee-Fan. Merkt man, glaube ich. So ein bisschen. <lacht> Für diesen Aufzug hätte ich echt Angst. Ich bin eh schon so jemand, der Angst vor Aufzügen hat, aber damit würde ich definitiv nicht fahren. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Kann ich noch was angucken? The Wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate. Ich werde gleich mal gucken, ob es die Kette irgendwie in Ebay zu kaufen gibt. Ich finde das Motiv so schön. Kann ich irgendwas anglotzen? Hey, man kann jetzt mal gerade nichts anglotzen. Das ist aber untypisch für das Spiel. Das bin ich aber enttäuscht. You arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Alter, wie die fetten Schneeflocken so auf dem Boden verschwinden. Die sind voll riesig, die Schneeflocken. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Barrels use. Huh. It's warm. Ew. 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 <laughs> ich will nicht wissen, was das... <laughs> It's warm. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. Das war's. Na gut, dann würde ich mal sagen, gehen wir mal die Treppe hoch. Weg von diesen Pisse-Barrels. Also ich wette. Ja, genau das wette ich. Der schaut nicht sehr freundlich aus. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Ach so. Who are Nett. you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the war? You a thief, a raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. 
As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Ich hab dir doch schon alles gesagt. You are a killer. Ja, hab ich dir Even gesagt. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Okie dokie. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Oh my god, der ist ja so cool. Wow. Wie er sich so gibt, das ist ja ultra. Yeah. Not. In last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Ich kann nicht mal lenken, Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Ich spreche mit well, mich jetzt hundertprozentig an. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning oh, on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Shut the fuck up. Real shame about your leg. Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. Sie sind nur neidisch, weil sie nicht so viel Liebe erfahren haben. Amen. We have business in the Great Hall. Go round. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. Bitch. Muck dich mal hier nicht so auf. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs. Or this house. Oh, dein Arsch, ey. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Ha. <laughs> Go on then, my lord. Dir schneide ich noch die Zunge raus, sobald es geht. Du Drecksack. Kannst du mir glauben? Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like wine guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Aww. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's the worst. It's good. <clears throat> Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. 
Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Oh, come, now Ethan's dead. And Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. Silence. I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, and we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one, not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. Oh, We've heard I'm... little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just hand Elaine. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Auf den Song freue ich mich schon, ehrlich gesagt. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but. Maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that.
You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. <laughs> Does that cool us? <laughs> oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank oh you. Nein. Oh nein. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Oh nein, oh nein. Bitte lass jetzt nicht von Ethan's Tod drin stehen. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before, and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Okay, das ist jetzt eine schwierige Entscheidung. I do. Ich tue es. Ich, ich riskiere es mal. Dear Lady Elena. No. Dearest Lady Elena. No risk, no fun. Oh yeah. She took the seal with her. Hopefully a signature will do. Shit. Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. Scheiße. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well... it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Über was wollte sie denn reden? Wieso redet sie nicht mit mir? Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. I say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead. Oi. <laughs> you might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. 
At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. Oh, this is awfully soon. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. <laughs> no, I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Total. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Oi, oi, oi. I need a word. Hello, John Schnee. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Ich denke da mal an Turtle. Oh Mann. Good luck, Turtle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Ach, guck doch nicht so. Gut. Dann äh, würde ich sagen, das ist wieder eine sehr gute Stelle, um diese Folge zu beenden. Und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge. Tschüssi!